Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about a couple issues raised up during the breakout room session for CAD issues. Um, the, this video is oriented for your exercise three. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to, I'm going to show you the steps that you probably need to go through to make sure that you plotted a file with a, your base maps um, in black and white and your file retention bands in color. So, um, so first of all, uh, make sure that you don't mess up with your uh, drawings. You always need to uh, draw on your uh, new layers. So uh, my personal preferences would be like lock this ones that I would not be using. So here, uh, let me create a new layer and let's call it file retention. So, uh, so currently I would probably use a very bright color for you to recognize it on my screen. Um, before getting into it, uh, another tip on uh, layer management is that for those who would like to create multiple layers for multiple colors, uh, you could uh, go here under your filter create a new group filter, and let's just call it bioretention. We need bioretention. So go back to all, we go back to all of your layers. I think you, you already see what it, what it does. So, now I'm going to attach it to this folder by dragging it to bioretention. So when you go to the folder, it sifts out the one attached to it. It is a little like management um, tips for you to keep your layers organized. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me let me draw a shape. So let's assume. It, as you can see, the they just copied copied someone from. Okay, let let's assume this is your one of your um our retention zone. One tip over here is that before you close your shape by manually like snap to your start point, um, what you could also do is click. To type in C, which refers to close, hit your spacebar. You see, um, actually, automatically close your shape without any gaps. So in this way, just in case you have like a very complicated drawing on that your snap tool doesn't work very precisely, this command would make sure that uh, the the shape you draw is a closed figure so that the next step when you want to hatch it, it will not make you make the hatch command uh, confusing. So uh, let's hatch it. So you could just select this. One another another issue to pay attention is that you want to uh, hatch it with a solid color instead of a pattern. Um, you could assign a transparency over here. And here is a, a very important tip. Uh, when we are when we are changing the colors, let's just go to more colors instead of choosing in, instead instead of choosing these index colors because these index colors could be assigned to uh, plot it in black or in the like, grayscale in your CTB file. So let's just go to more colors and go to true colors. The reason why we're not uh, going to uh, this index color is that because uh, uh, after talking with um, Matt, we feel like um, adjusting the settings in your CTB file might still like give you a chance to be messed up with the original settings. So let's just Keep it easy, and here is the 
very simple way is to go to your true colors and by selecting the color that is a RGB color and not uh, the index colors. So like this guy, let's just hit OK. So let's go to the paper space, page setup manager. We still need to uh, make a little tweaks here and a couple things to pay attention to. Uh, I think those settings are already there for your previous assignments. One thing is here, you want to make sure you check the plot transparency so that um, the hatches you assign to with transparency would be plotted as a transparent color that not uh, interfere with your uh, line works. Okay, and let's um, check the display plot styles for a moment to see uh, a preview. Okay. Okay, where is the drawing? Let me see. Okay, it's probably not in the viewport. Let's move it somewhere over here. Okay, let's regenerate. As you can see, it's already here and it's uh, plotted in color. I think that is good to go. Let's just plot in, make sure it works. Uh, this talk. Okay. Cool. Uh, now it works just fine. I think that's what you need to know for this assignment. Please let the TAs know if you have further questions.